This somewhat large piece of gear has the potential to revolutionize astronomy and might soon discover extraterrestrial life, perhaps in a few days. On December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched into space. Its objective? To research the development of solar systems similar to our own and the aftermath of the Big Bang in the history of our universe. The Hubble telescope is 10 times less powerful than this massive infrared telescope. It is composed of 18 distinct, incredibly lightweight beryllium mirror pieces. A 6.5 meters, 21 feet, primary mirror is formed by them unfolding and adjusting. After traveling 1.5 million kilometers, 930,000 miles, to reach its goal, the Webb telescope should be able to view into the past of our universe. It might hold the key to finding extraterrestrial life until they track us down first. You wouldn't search for little green aliens if you were searching for evidence of life on far-off exoplanets. One would seek out biosignatures. Stated differently, features found in a planet's atmosphere that might indicate the presence of life, either extant or extinct. Envision an extraterrestrial astronomer from a far-off galaxy aiming a telescope at Earth. The existence of oxygen and methane in our atmosphere are the biosignatures they would observe. These two gases would react with other elements and vanish if life forms weren't breathing them in and out. Thus, oxygen and methane will also be detected by the James Webb Telescope. Finding an exoplanet around a far-off star would be first step. You might use the transit method to accomplish this. When a planet moves in front of a star, its light will gradually get less. You would have enough information to estimate the planet's atmosphere after it repeatedly passes in front of its star. Its atmosphere would allow you to see how much light passes through it, and from the way the light spreads, you may infer the composition of the atmosphere there. In as little as 5 to 10 passes around a star, a planet can pass in front of a telescope as powerful as the web to collect sufficient data. That means you'd find signs of life on a planet after just 20 hours of research. But what happens next? 100% sure I'm going to die. You wouldn't immediately make this knowledge public though. Generally speaking, you should adhere to the confidence of life detection scale or cold. Scientists at NASA are trying to establish this strategy. It would establish a fresh paradigm for debating the likelihood that extraterrestrial life exists. There would be seven levels on the scale. The first step would be to identify biosignatures. As additional information is gathered, you would go up to level seven on the scale. You would probably find alien life at this time. At that point, powerful aliens beam down to take over our planet, and everyone goes crazy. Correct? Not precisely. It would be more plausible that we are the strong, sentient species if the Webb telescope is used to find life. The shocking revelation of extraterrestrial life would be far less dramatic than what the movies portray. Decades may pass. Anticipate a gradual sequence of innumerable small announcements. Additionally, keep in mind that exoplanets of interest are very far from Earth. It would take decades to go to one of those, such as the exoplanet TRAPPIST-1e using interstellar travel. However, experts think that the atmospheric conditions on this planet might be comparable to our own, or at least like the Earth between 2.5 and 4 billion years ago. Thus, it's possible that microscopic life exists there. Such a discovery would cause a wide range of responses. It might be a dream come true for you. For others, that might raise questions. It might have an impact on how you perceive life as a whole in the universe. A revelation this significant would undoubtedly have many implications. Would they, however, be as significant as the discovery that extraterrestrials already inhabit the Earth?